Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Usaini bin Muhammad Usni. I'm going to talk about spillage. Spillage here refers uh, spillage occur when demand spillage occur when demand is more than supply. In the airline industry context, demand here refers to the number of passengers. Uh, while supply here refers to the number of uh, seats that we allocated in a flight. Spillage uh, will occur during festive season such as Hari Raya Idul Fitri, Hari Raya Idul Adha, and uh, also Christmas and so on. During this time, we can see that a lot of passengers will travel by air. Um, therefore, the load factor can achieve 100%. Because passengers have no choice to choose other mode of transportation, so even though they need to to pay for higher price, so airline cannot afford to manage the demand because of the lack of capacity of aircraft. So we have to bear in mind that when there is a lack of capacity in aircraft, it will lead to losses for that particular airline. In spillage, they will have um, happen a uh, blackout, which means airline not offer cheap uh, fare ticket to customer. Uh, this is also when airline is going to maximize the revenue coming from the particular event, like uh, who's uh, explained before. Uh, so it will be a problem when um, airline generally want to hold a few back from sale format units travel. A traveler who might be willing to pay high higher price and flight flight will be full book. The airline will incurring a potential loss revenue and this uh, spillage result of the average fare that are too low for the flight, which lead to the booking rate uh, that lies above the normal booking booking curve. So right now the uh, the graph when the airline achieve this this curve uh, the airline cannot uh, take more passenger due to the uh, capacity of the aircraft hi my name is michelle and i'm going to be talking about spoilage so what is the definition of spoilage? What is spoilage? Spoilage is a scenario whereby the demand is lower than the capacity. So in airline terms, this means that the reservations actually made for a particular flight are lower than the capacity that uh, has been provided by that particular airline. And this will be um, illustrated by this diagram over here. So when the aircraft has been released and people can start making their bookings, they make their bookings to a particular extent whereby the capacity is not yet full. So the difference between the capacity and the actual bookings is the spoilage. So what are the causes of spoilage? Spoilage is as a result of um, the airline charging high prices, meaning that not everyone can afford, leading to less um, bookings. And this often results, uh, happens during non-peak seasons. And the other reason why spoilage takes place is when uh, the people do not show up. And to avoid the spoilage, the airlines have result, resorted to overbooking. That has been explained by Amiro. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Amirul. So currently we have heard uh, many issues about spoilage and spillage. So now we're back to overbooking. Uh, so overbooking is practiced by the airline to combat the spoilage that happen in the car industry. So when the load factor is full, then the sum packs will not showing up for the flight or the misconnection. So that is meaning by the overbooking. So airline book more flight than aircraft capacity. So 
airline always will be booking a lot of uh, uh, more more than passengers. Seems the aircraft. Okay, let's say if, if an example, an aircraft uh, with uh, 300 seats, but the the tickets will be sell about 450. So the 150 is the overbooking because they had um, they had minus those uh, the percentage of the people that who not going to showing up. And then predictably, the percentage that uh, packs no show up will be counted by the airlines. And airline set the booking limits that exceed capacity of the aircraft. So why they exceed the booking limit is because they want to maximize the revenue, and they don't want to they, they want the aircraft to fly with an empty seats. So they utilize all those availability of this aircraft. That's all for the booking. Thanks. My name is Shelly. I will be talking about the alternatives to overbooking. The first alternative is standby, where the airlines will sell tickets at a very deep discount and it is in a available space basis, which means the passenger will only travel when there is space available and they will be, they will be told once they are at the airport or they will be offered for the later flights. The second strategy is bumping strategy. Bumping strategy is where the low fare passengers will be offloaded or denied boarding and the airlines will uh, accommodate or prioritize the high fare passengers first. Therefore, the high fare passengers will sit at the, at the seat that is meant for the low fare passengers. However, for the bumping strategy to work, the, the high fare passengers must pay a, a fare that is high enough to cover the compensation that is to be paid to the low fare passengers. The next uh, alternative to overbooking is the replane concept, which is where they will see the demand of the current flight. If let's say the demand is higher than the anticipated demand, they will contact the earlier passenger and they will say that they are going to board the next flight. And uh, the seat that is made available for the for the next uh, passenger will be charged at a high price. The fourth alternative is the last minute discount. Usually, the airlines will sell seats, the last minute seats at a very higher price. However, some airlines also give last minute discounts because they want to sell the seats or just um, maximize the seats available so that there will not there will no seats that is not used of just fly with empty seats. The last alternative is cancellation and no show penalties. Some airlines will charge their customers with penalties on cancellation or no or if they are not showing up. So the penalties range from 10% to 100% on non-refundable tickets. If you don't want to be removed by overbooking, you can first buy ticket earlier, subscribe to their loyalty card, join program or go for full fare. That's all from me. Thank you.